Good afternoon, I'm Jeff. I'm a Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 655 Calvin Street here in Columbia City. We're located in the basement downstairs. Uh, toilet's been pulled. We're going through the uh, four inch cast iron flange here. We're going to check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We currently have water running. Here we go. All right, so we're off here. I'm going to zero the camera out. We just were right at the base of the toilet flange. We do have standing water here. It looks like right off the bat, but we may still have some debris in the line causing that. I tried to clear that out of the way here as best I could, but and we're still in standing water here, so we may have another clog up ahead, possibly. I'm hitting something really solid right there. You can see as I pull back at the little tunnel my camera's making, up through a solid blockage. Uh, hopefully the uh, camera going through there will clear that and let it start free flowing here shortly. As right now we don't have any water flow down the line, so I'm going to turn the sink off here for a moment until I see water flow catch up. Then I want to back the line up if that's that clogged. some more standing water here and a lot of debris build up once again. This stuff is, like you can see my camera's up all the way up against the top of the pipe here. It's riding up over a whole bunch of stuff there. And then the pipe is completely clogged here as well. see where we're at currently. I located the camera head out back, the, at the, or I guess it would be I guess, technically the right side of the house, if you're look, looking at the house from the street. All right, we finally popped out of the standing water here at 66 feet out, and at some point there it transitioned over to PVC pipe.
Sorry, I had the recorder turned off there. We'll go back through that section. After we just took that last turn there, the camera is stopping up here. It's getting way too difficult to push the camera any further. I'm risking damaging the camera cable at this point. So at 109 feet here, we're, uh, this is as far as we're going to go. I'll locate and see where we're at currently. Uh, unfortunately, the first 66 feet is underwater and debris, so we can't see if there's an external clean-out anywhere or not, because um, that would certainly be helpful in this circumstance. But all the pipe here that's been clear where I can see there's no clean-out to move to. Alright, look at the camera head successfully. If you're standing in the street looking at the house, uh, the driveway is just, it, 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 there's basically two points of entry from the street. Uh, this is the furthest to the right, and we're right almost to the base of the driveway here. But if the line turns and heads towards the tank, uh, I believe it's a step system. If it still has to get over that the tank though that's at the base of the driveway, we're probably Oh, 40 feet or so short of that at this point here. We're right at the base of one driveway, um, and the other driveway is where it, it, I believe, needs to go to. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start reeling out here. It's about as drained as it's going to get. We've had the water turned off for about five minutes. And it looks like we've got standing water all the way out to about 106 feet there.
Now this pipe here, it kind of looks like ABS plastic. There's so much junk built up in it, I can't tell. And where you see that white color up ahead there, that's where it transitions from. A I think it's ABS, it could be um, Orangeburg pipe. It's hard to tell if that's debris build up there. It's actually looking more like deformed Orangeburg. There's so much junk in there though, it's hard to tell the difference between the, the pipe. But given the fact that it transitions here from cast iron and then to this pipe and then goes over to PVC, I, I do believe this is orange bird pipe here. And it's very deformed, it's settled, causing a lot of standing water. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and reel out, just locate the camera head there at 26 feet, the line exits out, if you're looking at the house from the street, the right side of the home, and it comes up that side, down the driveway, and then hangs a turn there to go over to the tank, I believe. At this point, the line needs to be drain cleaned, probably a combination of augering and jetting to clean all the debris from the line, and then a rescope to see what's left afterwards. There's just too much debris and standing water right now to tell if there's bellies in the line or just major debris buildup.